And so if you've been watching my videos on ship stability in my last video, I showed you the theory behind calculation of uh, initial GM of the vessel uh, by means of the rolling period diagram. So today I'll just show you how an example is worked out, a numerical example is worked out if you get a similar question in the exam. So topic for today's video is calculate the GM or the metacentric height of a vessel uh, by means of rolling period test carried out on vessels of less than 70 meters in length. Um, the formula for that is uh, GM naught which is initial GM which is equal to F by B divided by TR uh, to the bracket whole square of that value. So in that the GM is of course the GM fluid. The GM fluid is the final GM obtained after correcting for the free surface effect. The F is uh, letter F stands for rolling coefficient as given in the table and B is stands for beam of the ship. The TR stands for the natural rolling period of the ship in seconds that you can calculate even using a stopwatch. So for example, the question that you get in the exam is that you have to estimate the metacentric height or GM of a dry cargo vessel using the following data where F is given to you as 0 0.74, breadth is given to you or beam is given to you as 16 meters and rolling period is given as 13 seconds. All right, so I've discussed the theory behind all of that in my last video. I'll give you the link to that video in the description section below. Please watch that video if you're not sure on what is going on here. Uh, happy to happy to actually <laughs> put a link to that video. So please watch that video. Um, all right, so the solution is pretty simple. Just put in the values in the formula here. So the formula, as I showed you before, is uh, GM not equals FB by TR and whole square so you find out the value inside the bracket and then you, you can just square it so of course we just put in the value of f and then b and then the tr goes here find out the value inside the bracket first then just square it and you get your initial gms 0.8295 which is actually pretty good any number which is close to number one uh, for a gm is pretty good uh, we would like to sail out with that kind of a gm uh, here I would like to show you the rolling coefficient diagram because uh, that is often used to determine the initial GM as well. So let me go to that diagram and I'll show you that diagram how it is worked out. I will not take this example here but I'll take a separate example and you can use this example to find that out as well. So if you go into the this is the rolling coefficient diagram where you can see the rolling coefficient to the left here and the scale for that is shown here. So because you have one scale you have to see uh, which scale refers to which value because you can see the second scale here refers to the GM value here All right, so be very careful while you are checking for the scales um, Then uh, on your right hand side you have the breadth scale given to you This is your breadth scale and you have your rolling period scale given as well, which is here So the instructions for the using this is uh, given below in the diagram So here of course if you see below you can see the example is given here the example of the don't look at GM right now. So F is given to you the rolling coefficient. F is 0 0.8, breadth is 0 0.9 and time period is 12 seconds. So instead of using the formula, you can also use this uh, diagram. So what you first do is you connect the breadth with the rolling coefficient. So the breadth is uh, 9 meters and uh, breadth 9 meters is here. And you co connect it with the rolling coefficient of F. 0 0.8 you connect it here all right now wherever uh, you join it with a straight line as you can see in the diagram you join it with a straight line here now the line in the center which is m m is also drawn in the diagram and wherever it cuts this center line that point is marked as m and then what you do is you take the rolling period of 12 seconds and you make sure that you draw a line from the rolling period of 12 seconds here and make sure that you pass that line through the M the point M here now if you draw a straight line wherever this line connects the scale here the appropriate GM scale here that will be the initial GM so here the initial GM is 0 0.36 so because this is 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.4 the scale is you know how I showed you the scale 
so this is the where it is connecting so that becomes the initial gm so if you don't have access to the formula you can also use the rolling coefficient diagram to find the answer so try it uh, if you have access to this you can i think google it and find this diagram here so in the numerical as well you can try it and see if you get the same values or not all right so that's pretty much it uh, see the theory first and then watch this numerical and you will get a good understanding of how the initial gm is calculated using the rolling coefficient diagram Bye for now guys, keep trying to keep it short.